Sunny Day here. Yeah, today I'm out looking for the old Tesco, Oklahoma search. Yeah, here. I'm where it says it was on the map, old map from mine.com, but I guess it was It's gone, or I just didn't look at the map right or something, or I may have passed it. This is really like new frontier for me because I have never actually been on this particular road at all in my life. I'm west of the uh, Highway 5 curb that goes by the Weaver, Oklahoma School, which is back over here, which is now the a, and, um, a halfway house for correctional facility inmates. But yeah, I'm just going to be going down this road here. If I come across anything interesting, I'll stop and film it. Now here's something I thought was worth stopping to look at. A very old, old vintage windmill. Wow. Seen the rust on the blades there. I thought, well, I thought it was painted at first. I guess I guess you could say it's sort of a awkward version of rust oleum. <laughs> yeah. So this is a whole new stretch of road I've never been on before. You know, just up the road here, right, it runs up to the Red River. Too bad there's not a bridge that goes across it. Yeah. I'm going to keep going this way. See you next clip. Yeah, something else cool, too. Just a little ways up from west of where I was at. I'm sure there's somebody around me here and safe. I'm like, there's no way this can just be a random creek. This is a, what this is right here. I will almost guarantee that this is a runoff. This is like a tributary, a branch, the small tributary of the Red River. This is connected to the Red River. I mean, there's too much water there. Normally, creeks like this aren't this full around here for any duration of time, especially if the heat's warm. Well, the heat's going to be warm. I'm thinking that's probably part of the Red River, a small runoff of the Red River, which isn't very far. Yeah, I just wanted to stop and check that out. I was like, dang. It was like some random forest over there, random wooded area. I wonder if Christopher Rob is out hanging out with Winnie the Pooh. Oh, could be. Hang <laughs> on. Well, this is a major bummer. <laughs> I've got no choice but to turn around because I'm looking to my south. It's muddy looking and sandy, and up, up ahead it's like sandy and muddy. It says road closed, so I'm not going any further. Like I said, I'm pretty darn close to the Red River. That's what, when you get close to a river, generally it's going to be starting to be sandy on roads. It's always a marker, telltale. Yeah, I'm really close to the Red River. Really, you know. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna turn around and take a different road. Out. <laughs> see you next clip. You'll see me. I'd say these roads back here, folks, they get inundated with mud, with water. They get washed out, too. So a lot of it's sand. That's why they get to, geez, Louise, look at that one. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely one I'd choose. Let's have a 4x4. Four four. This is good on God almighty. Pretty rough. Ooh, got some deep ruts. Still haven't found a church building yet. I think maybe that might be it over there now. That looks like a house. Yeah, I'm still looking at it. I think it probably would be torn down or something. Because the map that I was looking at was from 1958. Again, I think maybe that's it over there. Over there in the distance, I think maybe there's a church. That's it. That's it over there. I bet you that's it. I will bet that's it. Well. Cut the camera off. When I get over there, we'll see. Yeah, I couldn't get down that road that was going to what looked like it might have been a church, folks, because <laughs> it was already ruddy. And this up ahead here, all I can say to that is, 
Yeah, I'm going to have to turn around and go back the way I came. I'm not going to have another near miss like I did over by Duval, Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this little car will not get through that. <laughs> yeah, I decided to back up to where I was going to turn just to show you that road. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I said, no, I'm not going down that. Uh-uh. And there was like a lone, one single dove sitting there. <laughs> one single dove reference. Oh man, I smell it. Ugh, I think it's a, it smells like a bed bug. Ew, that odor. Ugh. Gross. Yeah. Maybe skunk weed or something. That's one of bed bugs. <laughs> That wheat's looking kind of funky over there. But yeah. And that's where I was a few moments ago. Where that mud's at. I'm going to turn around here. Yeah. Carrying on. Wow, this is cool. A lot of people don't know. that That's uh, sorghum. Well, actually, those are corn stalks, I think. No, that's sorghum. That's yeah, it makes like that's where it has it makes sorghum molasses from those stalks. Molasses stalks is what those are. I don't know the side of the road, so I guess they're stalking me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sandy right there, so I had to back up. Yeah, but the movers will be coming. Kind of crap. Well, a uh, few miles north of where I was, I had to get on the highway and go around. But man, some of these roads out here. <laughs> I'm going to go out and punish me out here. This looks pretty, pretty, pretty good up to where right here. Going toward Tipton, Oklahoma. Yeah. Hopefully I picked a winner this time. <laughs> I noticed back up the road here, east of here, there's a, somewhere with a road, a road, a road grading tractor. The big plow behind it. So they're resurfacing the road, which is good. Well, onward and upward, northward. <laughs> <laughs> that road sure fooled me, you know. I could have seen further down the road in more detail. Man, I ran into three or four sand dunes, almost got stuck, man. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a random barn out there in the country. Well, it's a country, so there's going to be barns out there. But <laughs> it's got the AC going right now. But yeah, hopefully it's a little cleaner up this way. Um, On. Oh, up ahead. Well, up ahead is a welcome sight. Highway again. This time, I think. This time, I think I'll stay on it. <laughs> so I head back to Lawton. One of the main reasons I'm out here is just you know, not only looking for the little Tesco Baptist Church, the old Tesco Church, but I was just killing time because the. Um, Pest control people were in my apartment. I, just, I don't want to be there. <laughs> I don't have to be. I mean, I'll stop them up there anyway when they show up, but you know. Yeah, I thought I'd do a video. Oh. See ya. Uh, you see me next clip. Hi, folks. Yeah. I was going to stay on the highway and head back to Lawton, but there's one more road I want to go down. This is due west of Tipton, Oklahoma, kind of on the south side. And a lot of people don't know, you know, I looked it up on old maps online.com. This road here used to be Highway 5. It used to kind of like zigzag, come down from Altus, and like it would do, 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 do a stair step. Down to, down here. And it would go like that to Frederick, and it, actually Highway 5 passed on the west end of Frederick, between where Fraser, Oklahoma used to be, and Frederick is now. Yeah. There's nobody here on the road with me, so I'm, I'm only going like 25, so you know, I think yeah, it's safe. Right up here, there's, I think it's still there, there's an old bridge. This up to a few years ago was still paved. 
I remember because well, I was actually back like about 20 years ago, so it's a lot of change since then. But yeah. And incidentally, it used to cross the river, obviously, but it would go up and it would like fork off to the left, to the right, north, and south. You go to the left, you go up, and you would run into Hess. And you go right, you'd run toward uh, Alsus. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here a little bit. I know this isn't gonna go very much further because there's, there's, a, there's an old bridge that'll hit across, which is probably the bridge on one of the tributaries of the Red River. Yeah. You always tell an old road doesn't get used much because grass starts growing up. In the middle, it looks like a long driveway. Dirt driveway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, back to the pest control thing. I used to not have a problem. Like, you know. Yeah. It's gated up now used to be you could drive through there a little further, but you can't anymore. Yeah, it's got a cattle guard on a cattle gate on it. Yeah, you can't go any further anymore. Back about 20 years ago, there was a little bridge up here. You could go right through there. You can't anymore now. Man, yep, it is definitely blocked off now. Yep. Well, that's that. Yep. That was right close to the river, all right. Like I said, there used to be an old bridge over there. They put a new bridge in down here. Yeah. So I wasn't too far off. Wow, here's another road I haven't been down. Up the road here on the right, there's an old run-down gray farmhouse. And all these trees back over here, but very close to the Red River right now. That's why there's so much tree, so many trees around here. It runs, actually snakes along there. I'm going up a road that I haven't been on in like probably 20 years. Yeah. Wow, what I'm looking at right now, I'm, look, I'm looking southward toward the north side of Tipton, Oklahoma. This right here used to be paved. Gosh, 20 years ago it was still paved. Back behind me to my southwest, I came up the road past an old dump. An old house a man used to live in that pulled us out of the sand when I was a child in a car we were in. Yeah, he's gone. He's probably been passed away or has moved on somewhere else because the house is empty and falling apart and the electric meter has been disconnected. Looking at it now, I passed by there, I didn't recognize it because trees have grown up along the edge of the river so thick that you never know there was a dump there at one time. <laughs> Yeah, still cruising on. <laughs> Might be wondering why I'm backing up. Up there, I damn, I, I damn near got stuck. <laughs> Big time. I had a sand up there. <laughs> yeah. Just want to throw that in there real quick. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah! Yeah, I was going down there. I was going to try to pop. Try to go through it, and all of a sudden the Lord told me, said, I back the car up, back up, back up, back up, reverse, back up, back down the road, back down the road, back up the road, back up the road, back out the road, back out, back out. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking an alternate route <laughs> northward. There's nobody out here, so it's safe for me to. Then up the road or down the road here, you might be able to see it on the right. I'm in the Lang School District area again. That's the Lang School, that building on the side of the road, schoolhouse looking building. Yep. Up here is going toward a long mountain. I'm trying to try a different road. I know it's ruddy up here, a little bumpy, but you know, hey, it's safer than that. <laughs> like I said, this this isn't a very, this is a quiet road, so I'm kind of like safe enough where I can, you know, do whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going down this way. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Ah! Might be able to tell there's parts of this road here I'm still on. Yeah, it used to be it used to be paid. When I was a kid, this road was paid. It had potholes, but it was paid. 
over to Bright's Long Mountain. Overseas carrier. I worked in those loading trailers. The Red River, for those of you who don't know, there's a, uh, a uh, I think it's a gypsum. I think they mine gypsum or something over here. Yeah, the Red River runs right by that, and there's a giant, this is big giant lake. Well, not a lake, but it's a giant pond. Water, and it's fed by the Red River. I looked at it on Google Maps. But yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, the sun came out finally. Yeah, you can see where it used to be paved, though. Yeah, the old mighty Red River runs through there. That little mountain there, I call that one Hedrick Mountain. Yeah, I'm in that area, Ken Hedrick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just standing and cruising up the road here. Going, going US 62 and head back home to Lawton. Yeah, it's like almost 12.30, so the pest control people will probably long, be long gone by the time I get there. Yeah, it looks like they mine mainly sand over here, but yeah, they're just huge. Pretty big water, water. Looks like a small lake over here, but it's not. It's they might have some fishies in it. I don't know. Yeah, this is the uh, yeah Sand Corporation, Southwest for the State Sand Corporation. Yeah, look over here. I'd be able to see it or not. Huh? That's weird. Oh yeah, there it is. Way down. Yeah, there it is. Can see it out of out of the car. Yeah, all that war. It's fed by the Red River. There's a delta over there. You can see it or not. It's fed by the Red River. So the Red River's just over there. It's not as full as it used to be, you know. Of course, you know the droughts and stuff we've had the last two or three years. You know, get a big old rain like we had back in uh, 2000. It's a cash of home of flooded from other places. We needed it, we got it. Okay. Yeah, this I noticed something. They've actually smoothed it out. I know they had graded it at one point. It, it had the tracks from the large tractor the tractor grader tractor that was was little well, piece of asphalt coming up the road. But yeah, this this is once a paved road. Ah uh, yes, Snyder's over there. See the Wichita's not far from the 62. Got the Navajo Mountains over there in the distance. Yeah, it's trucking along. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, latest excursion into uh, southwestern Oklahoma back roads. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. Some of these roads I've never been on before, it's kind of a, it's a new thing for me, especially finding, you know, that one big, like a very, very large creek, you know, I think that's, that's pretty close to the river, so. <laughs> well, I tell you. Well, if you like my videos, comment. If you want to keep your comments respectful, give a thumbs up if you like it. Great. Subscribe if you want to. And as always, in the name of Christ Jesus the Lord, stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at peace. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. Love each other. Amen. And I am out of here until next time. Peace and all the life.